Welcome back everybody to Book. How's everyone doing? It is a nice where's my phone at? Nice 1 a.m. almost 2 a.m. recording session on a uh, Tuesday night. I guess it would be Wednesday morning. But uh we are here. Finally back with an episode. I know it's been a while, it's because I had Ryan visiting and uh it's not exactly easy to record a bunch of episodes when you have someone overstaying at your place. But here we are, we did get a bunch of streams off and a bunch of other stuff. He also helped edit a Terraria challenge stream. If you guys saw that challenge stream episode, the one with the reverse gravity, he edited like the end of that. I didn't even look what he edited it in. Like he edited like the last two minutes or something. I just I just rendered it. <laughs> you know, whatever it is he edited at the end, it's whatever it is. He could have he could have put in some Nazi shit and I wouldn't have noticed because I didn't watch the end of the video. But yeah, we're back. It is I. Autismo the fourth, and I think it is finally time to reveal my plans. These orcs do not deserve to be in this world, and I shall slaughter all of them, even the ones that have worshipped me in the past. I shall send out my minions to do my bidding and slaughter these orcs. The Cyclops and Snilatols are the dominant species of this land. Ha 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 ha. Uh. Back. We're gonna get our uh, schedule here, our upload schedule back in order. And we're gonna start this episode off by fighting some new bosses. Stone of the Stars. Mysterious energies are harbored within the stone used at night. Some celestials are used. Stone of the Stars. How do we create this thing? Just straight up, apparently. Nice. I do have a bunch of chlorophyte because I have a chlorophyte gatherer now. So that should help out a lot, hopefully. Uh, we also have the Anomaly. Abyssion, we might fight this episode. We'll see. Uh, Obsidious. Plaguebringer. Oh, Plaguebringer is a definite want to fight. Is a definite boss that I want to fight. I don't know if I have the stuff for it, though. What am I missing here? Obsidian. Really? That's what I'm missing? Okay. It's all good. So, get like 25. I don't know why... I have so much gold on this character. <laughs> Usually I'm shrugging, struggling through hard mode when it comes to gold, but um, I guess now we're doing perfectly fine with the gold. Now the question is, didn't I make an abomination before? I swear I made one before in preparation to fight this boss. Whatever, it's all good. So Stone of the Stars, let's fight this boss. I still need to make a better arena because I, I just don't have a good arena to fight him. We'll fight in the desert or not the desert. The snow bond is usually where we fight. So we'll do that. Hopefully this boss isn't too tough. Uh, but we'll see. I'm just looking at my accessories here. I kind of want to get rid of this one. Kind of. I don't know. But yeah, Elements Awoken has updated. And uh, I have updated the mod, obviously. And it does add music to his bosses. And we are finding a boss from Elements Awoken. So let's do it. Let us do it. Let's make it nighttime first. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Buff up. Boom. It's go time. Let's hear this music, baby. This boss. Oh my god. That fucking hurt. <laughs> We're gonna be using this bow for this fight. Let's see how this works out. If it doesn't work out at all, hopefully you can hear me. Usually modded music is ten times louder than me. We never know. I'm gonna use this just to clear out all the enemies around the boss. You know what I should do? I should do this. This should help out a lot. I really hope you guys can hear me. I'm not gonna be able to know. do that. See our rage active. We use this. So she has a little brain of Cthulhu effect on her right there. She got a lot of attacks. I like it. Astra is her name. Wait, don't we find more than one? Is it? That was just one. No, I was expecting to fight like multiple bosses. Because it says something about the Celestials. That's it. Alright. We did it. Nice. It wasn't too bad. Uh, I did panic a little bit and start using uh, Book's Bullet Hell because I lost a good chunk of health at one point. But yeah, we got an Anomalous Chunk. Is that how you say that? Uh, Null is one of the items. Calls upon a particular fatal glitch in Agirium's Code. So I'm assuming it's that one boss that says... You have to use like Knoll or some shit. Okay. There's a boss you fight after the pillars. 
interesting I, I love the boss uh, selection we have here it's really cool a lot of interesting bosses in this mod pack this is definitely probably one of my favorite packs we've made this season is a uh, book so far can I do that no I have to manually okay what's in the treasure bag celestial inferno interesting does it keep on making more and more circles that's actually really cool okay so that's the most it does and then we got this speedy celestial flame 10 percent increased critical strike chance shoots lasers at nearby enemies it's okay i mean critical strike chance wouldn't be bad on me but we get an increased damage and armor pen from this and immunities so we're gonna keep that one because it just straight up is just better statistically better uh but yeah the anomalous chunks let me sell this actually this inferno the anomalous chunks we will go ahead and make the boss spawner right now so i don't forget so wait what is it required it requires 15 oh shit okay we can't really do that yet can we um no when we get to that boss we'll, we'll do it again i didn't mean to make a deal when we get to that boss we will get the anomalous chunks and fight that boss again but moving on uh, I think it's either time to take on Abyssion or Plaguebringer. Both of them, honestly, I try to do at least three bosses per an episode. And then it usually depends on how long, you know, like the first two bosses. And then that, that decides if I'm going to do third boss. But yeah, I'm going to go to the jungle, I guess, and set up a nice little arena to take on Plaguebringer. So I will be right back. All right, the arena is fairly basic. I was going to make it a little bit more complex, but I don't really need too much. Don't hit me, please. Let's do it. I'm ready to go. Buff up. Plague bring a time. We're gonna we're gonna probably use good ass weapons because this is Revenge's Calamity. And uh, we should not be fucking around at all. With uh, any boss in Revengeance. Especially since this is my first rodeo with Revengeance. We wanna go as hard as possible. No homo, no such shit involved. Uh, I don't know why I said that. That didn't really feel like a thing. Going hard? I don't know. Does that sound like a thing you guys say no homo for? It's fine. Uh, no homo though. <laughs> is this over? Okay, it was over just like that. Thank God. I thought it was going to be way harder. Uh, doesn't mean buff it. Any Calamity devs that are watching this, please don't buff it. I'm just very strong, okay? Just let that be understood. I am a very strong character. Uh, we're getting to the best character arc in the history of Terraria. So, uh, d don't don't buff that boss i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about anymore we got the pistol at least or the range weapon does it have a bow too i think it does pestilent defiler another pistol that is like this pistol but this one's faster so honestly it might be better <laughs> i don't know oh, this one kind of does like a little bouncing thing uh it's cool and everything but i don't, I don't know <laughs> Uh, maybe we'll just give her the pistol. What does this do? Something damaging plague aura. Blinds and weak. Okay, so this, don't you like combine it into something and it becomes better? I think. I don't know. What the fuck is this? <laughs> is this a revenge drop? What's a revenge drop? Is there a revenge drop? I don't know. Many questions to be asked here. Is this a good item? I have no idea. <laughs> you guys tell me if it's worth making the plague hive. Because we do have an open slot pretty much with the Soul of the Frost. Let me know in the comments. And uh, let me go ahead and reforge here. Boom. That's a bad reforge. Uh, give me something good. There we go. I will take it. So, one more boss. I will do all these bosses in the stream. All these uh, mini bosses. So stay on the lookout for that. It might be tomorrow or the day you're watching this, honestly. I have no idea. But uh, who should I fight? So we have Abyssion. The Phantom, Ravager, the Abomination. Maybe Ravager? That's gonna be a tough boss. I always have troubles with Ravager. I don't know, man. I can't do the Abomination yet. The Phantom might be doable. Paladin Emblem, which we require Spectre Bars for. Oof, I don't have any Ectoplasm at all. Are you kidding me? Fucking broke boy, am I right? Oh my god, I don't got none. All right, I have created another arena. Hopefully, we use this in the future. Hopefully, we use both those arenas in the future. Uh, because I don't know, that feels like a lot of time just to fight two bosses. Probably spend a good like 30 minutes on both arenas together. 
doesn't sound that bad, but given that you're not even that, you know, unique or creative, that's a good bit of time there. All right, let's do it though. I'm ready. Oh yeah, leech my. Nah, it's kind of sus if I say that. You're gonna fucking die, paladin. I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say originally, cause it's a little low, low key homo. But uh, let's do it. Hopefully, this shouldn't be too bad of a boss fight. I have no idea. Maybe I should use this. Use this. See how it is. I was using it a little bit when I was coming down here for ectoplasm. It didn't seem too bad. Uh, okay. It does. Obviously, it doesn't seem too bad. Or honestly, it doesn't seem too bad. But uh, we're dying. So I need to do this. <laughs> Because I don't, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I want to finish this boss fight unscathed, untouched. I honestly don't have enough room for this boss fight. And I don't know what I was thinking when it came to the vertical spacing. But uh, don't worry. As long as we can kill him before he starts spawning in paladins, we are perfectly fine. And I'll consider that boss fight accomplished. We did. Done did it. Before, oh, he spawned in one paladin. I think he spawned this guy in. I'm not sure, actually. Let me get his ass, though. That sounds suspect, bro. Like, no homo. I'm gonna kill that paladin. <laughs> there you go. That's what I'm gonna say instead. Hey, we got my favorite grappling hook, the ghostly grapple. Because it's straight up the best ba grappling hook in the game. I think. I don't think there's anything that goes further. Uh, we got a paladin's hammer. I don't think this does anything for us. Yeah, it doesn't. So that can go bye bye. We got this. This does make the shield, which is the only reason why you ever keep them. Because this is a healer armor set. One of my favorite healer armor sets, if I'm being honest. It's really, really good. But, uh, damn, how many? You can make a lot of stuff. Holy Hammer, Bubble Bulwark. I like that. Good job, Dorian. That's a nice set. Don't know what this is. Getting rid of that. We did get the pistol. Sweet. Awesome. Phantom Shield. Not gonna use that. Phantom Plate. We'll use it for the foul orb, obviously. But yeah, that's it. That's all the stuff for that. Boom. Toss everything else in there. Let's see his pistol in action. Um, <laughs> uses wisps? What the fuck is a wisp? Wisps. 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 <laughs> How do you make that? Oh my god, it costs an ectoplasm per. This thing better be amazing. What the fuck is that? Come on, bro. What is that? <laughs> let me let me reforge this. Maybe it's God tier. Maybe it is God tier. Maybe I'm just, you know, not not seeing it in action. Let's get a let's get a king slime. Let's see his baby in action. Shoot the boss. Okay, there's potential that it could be God tier, but uh, you know, we'll test that out in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, we're getting back on schedule here. Going hard in 2019. No homo. Uh, uh, 